All right, well, uh, it's 11 o'clock right now, a little after, it's about 11.10, and uh, I was going to log on to Diablo 3 to make my uh, my YouTube video like I do every morning, but the servers are still down, so you guys get to you guys get to hear me talk about uh, what I'm going to talk about today while staring at the, the login screen um, as I log in every 5 to 10 minutes to check when the servers are going to be up. So anyway, uh, today I just want to talk about, just for a minute or two, uh, not very long, um, my first opinions on playing the Barbarian class and how it was like um, getting into the Barbarian class with a very expensive set of gear, a really good set of gear, um, without actually like ramping up your gear, you know, not starting, you know, I didn't start off with a very cheap set of gear and then slowly built up, I kind of just went all in and um, bought a 3 billion set of gear um, for the very first time after never playing a Barbarian. So I can honestly say that the class is very, very powerful. Um, I don't think it's like, you know, beyond powerful to the point where all other classes are useless, but I definitely think that the class has very unique advantages that other classes, um, unfortunately don't have. Uh, and one of those is just the super, super high mobility, and I know I've talked about this a lot in the stream, but Barbarians are just so mobile, they have, um, the Wrath of the Berserker movement speed, their sprint bonuses, all that stuff, and they just, they can run super fast and they're super mobile, and, uh, it, Again, with Wrath of the Berserker, they're immune to crowd control. I, I got, I'm kind of throwing that in with, with the whole super mobile aspect. So that makes them play, it makes the gameplay just seem a lot faster than playing, you know, for example, a wizard in Archon, where you only have that 20% movement speed boost, that 25% movement speed boost, and every time you want to kill stuff, you have to actually stop and fire your Archon beam. Still very fun class to play, but it just feels a lot more slower paced just because you have to stop and kill every time you want to kill stuff with a Barbarian. You just keep running around in circles, and stuff just dies, and then you move on to the next pack, and you just rinse and repeat. Um, so far, I'm having fun. I can, however, see how it would get boring after a while. Um, I know a lot of people have, have been telling me, they're like, well, you know, Barbarians are fun to start, but they're going to get boring very quickly. And I can see that, you know, every if you if you keep doing the same thing over and over uh, for a while, you are gonna get you know you're gonna get bored after a while. But so far right now they're pretty fun. Um, you know my gear isn't perfect. I've I've made some mistakes of course. Um, this was my very first barbarian, my very first set of barbarian gear that I've ever built. I've never even made a barbarian in the game before. Never leveled it to five or ten or anything. This was the first barbarian I've ever played. And of course I, I did make some mistakes. Um, I think my resistances are a little bit too low. Um, they're not bad for farming Act 1. Um, I could keep myself alive in Act 1 pretty well in MP10, um, of course. Uh, however, it's some places like Halls of Agony, uh, they have those guys that the Smashing Berserkers or whatever they call them, they, they just one-shot me. Um, one hit from them and I'm dead from full health to zero. So, um, if I were to make some changes, I think I would definitely um, definitely go with a bit more all resistance. Again, it doesn't need to be too much higher, but um, there are, you know, I can find myself in some tricky situations sometimes. My DPS is awesome, though. Um, I'm at about close to 500,000 DPS buffed, about 300,000 unbuffed. So, my DPS is pretty good. Um, things die very quickly. Um, again, I still need to learn how to manage my fury. I still need to learn how to manage my cooldowns and all that stuff. Um, I do find myself occasionally running out of Wrath of the Berserker, and I need to make sure I keep rend up, and I need to make sure I keep sprint up and all that stuff. So, as time goes on, I think I'll get better. As time goes on, I'll uh, slowly replace my gear with better pieces, and I'll, I'll make some changes so that my Barbarian isn't doesn't have the, the weak spots that it has now, because right now, uh, the survivability is definitely the weak spot, which is kind of making uh, things like running Act 2 MP10 uh, a little bit more difficult. It could still be done, but it takes a bit more concentration, so... Um, anyway, I could definitely farm well over 200 million experience per hour on my Barbarian. Actually, I, te I did a test run last night. Defiled Crypt uh, was actually giving me 345 million experience per hour. Um, but of course, that is the most highly dense, uh, highly, the most, the highest density zone in the game. So that's not a surprise. Every class should be getting a ton of experience there. I think it was about two-thirds of a level. So level 21 to almost level 22, and it took, I don't even know, like five minutes or so. So that was pretty, uh, pretty insane. Um, anyway, those were just my, f you know, some thoughts. And I'm sorry you had to look at the loading screen here. I know it wasn't, uh, wasn't very pretty, but you can't log into Diablo right now. So uh, maybe I'll check again in another minute or two. Thanks for watching, guys. If you enjoyed the video, 
Um, please don't forget to uh, to subscribe to the channel. That would be really awesome, guys. Uh, would really appreciate that. And of course, don't forget to follow uh, the Twitch live stream. I live stream pretty much every day. Uh, twitchtv gaming And again, Twitter, twittercom gaming If you want to stop by and toss a follow and subscribe to those places, that'd be great. Um, that information, as always, is in the bottom left-hand part of the screen. Thanks again, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and um, I will see you soon. Peace.